well, I I work <laughs> all, all the week. Um, uh, only my weekend. Uh, sorry, uh, I stay with my family. I I I work too in the morning on Saturday. And then I I was to a party with friends at night on Saturday. And yesterday I eat with my sister and her son. Hey, that was great. It's family time. Yes. Excellent. All right. Thank you for sharing. Thank okay. You. So guess what? Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. We are going to talk about eco guilt. We are going to ask how much, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, how much do we damage the environment? Uh, we know that the earth or planet has been constantly damaged by many human actions for example uh, i don't know to 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 cut the trees is one of the actions that people has done what what do you think that has been very damaging for our environment Um, Leti, what do you think that has been a very uh, dangerous action that humans have done for damaging the environment? Mm, contamination. Uh, pollution. Uh, pollution and the, um, the I, I don't know how do you say basura in the sea. Trash. The trash in the sea. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. Uh, maybe the cigarette. Aha, uh -huh, the cigarettes, that's it, so damaging. Yes, um, I don't know. That's all. I don't remember another thing. All right. Thank you very much, Leti. Leti, who's next? Tell me, who's your victim? Could it be Maria? Um, could be Nelly? Or, hey, here we have to Luis Cobb. Ricardo. Ricardo? <laughs> I get, well, Ricardo, yes. Ricardo, hello. Luis, hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, thanks. Excellent. Thanks. Um, Luis, Luis, guess what? We are talking about environment and the damage that we have done to the planet. What's your opinion? What do you think, Luis, about the connections that have been dangerous for the planet? Luis? No entendí la pregunta. Uh, eh, eh, what is dangerous for the planet? Contamination, pollution, eh, to cut the trees. What's your opinion? Uh, No, per disculpe. Oh, it's okay, don't worry. Okay, any help? Ricardo, what's your opinion?
Ricardo, hello. Don't be shy. Okay, um, guess what? I have prepared some vocabulary for you. It will be very helpful. Les va a ayudar mucho. Les preparé vocabulario. Look at this. Okay. Here you have the vocabulary that we can use for talking about damaging the environment. For example, here we can see that talking about the environment, we have pollution from garbage. Uh, could Leti or any volunteer, please, volunteers, help me to read this part. Yes. Okay, Leti. Um, little, I don't know how do you read. Little industrial waste, uh -huh, household know. waste, landfill. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank in, in this way. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, wait. 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 It's okay. Thank you very much. So, what does leader mean into Spanish? What is leader? Leader into Spanish means tirar basura. When we walk. When we are walking down the street and suddenly we have maybe, we are eating popcorn or we are eating, drinking soda maybe, and we don't put the garbage on in the waste bin. We put it on the street. That's two liter. Okay. That's pollution from garbage. All right, so what about industrial waste? What is it? What is industrial waste? Any volunteer? It's like it's small things that um, like like garbage. Uh -huh, that's it. But maybe in a industry. In an industry, okay. In that they don't need and they uh, throw to the sea or I don't know. Uh -huh, it could be. All right. Uh, any anybody else opinion, Mari? What's your opinion about industrial waste? Hello. Mari or Maria, Nelly, Ricardo. Maria, okay, thank you. Oh, okay. Um, industrial waste, uh -huh. environment, um, exhaust gases. Ah, uh -huh, that's it. But what what is industrial waste? What do you think that is the into Spanish industrial waste? What is it? Residuos um, industriales. Mm -hmm, that's it. For example, I don't know. Well, I am not an engineer. I don't know a lot about industry, but. Uh, any any example about industrial waste? On the star. Algún ejemplo de de desperdicio industrial o desecho industrial? Somebody. Um, um, los gases. Uh, dice carbon emission. Carbon emissions. emissions. Yes, that's it. Or some substances? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. That's so damaging for the environment. So bad. Okay, thank you very much. 
Liz, could you help me? Could you help me? Uh, Luis, uh, Luis is not here. Ricardo, okay. Ricardo, could you help me to read about saving the environment? Hello, Ricardo. Uh, um, oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I was going to start reading about saving the environment, but I forgot what is household waste. What do you think it is? Household waste. What is it? Ah, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, ¿Saben, chicos? Le, bueno, quisiera platicarles antes de, de que empecemos bien. Um, sí, es muy complicado a veces eso de no entender algunas palabras y, y vamos, si no estoy entendiendo la idea, qué es lo que me están preguntando y quieren que opine, pues está medio complicado, ¿no? Eh, sin embargo, yo les doy un consejo. Eh, Sería, como esta es una clase de conversación, eh, pues se supone que tenemos que platicar en inglés. Sí, por supuesto que es complicado si no sé eh, utilizar las palabras, o peor, ¿no? Si no conozco las palabras. Pero eh, a veces el contexto nos ayuda a, a decir un poco lo que, más bien entender lo que nos dicen. Y en cuanto a lo que quiero expresar, no se compliquen buscando palabras que no saben. A veces es mejor explicar con las palabras que sí sabemos. Por ejemplo, yo no sé decir este, relleno sanitario, pero sí sé decir un hoyo lleno de basura. Y esa sería una forma de expresar lo que quiero decir, aunque con otras palabras. Voy a usar las que ya tengo y no me voy a angustiar por las que todavía no conozco. ¿Qué les parece? ¿Sí? Bien. Okay. Excelente. Yes. Ahora, estamos en nivel inicial. Es por supuesto que entendemos que pues, no manejan mucho vocabulario. Por eso trato de hablar más despacito, de remarcar más las palabras. Este, de ponerles ejemplos, ¿ok? No, no se angustien. Esto más que una clase, es una plática entre amigos. Entonces, pues vamos a comentar, a tratar de explicar. Lo único que tenemos que hacer es tratar de imaginar que no hablamos español. Si se nos dificulta, bueno, pues lo usamos como auxiliar, ¿ok? Ok. Excelente. Okay. Household waste. House, casa. Hold, que hacer. Household, que hacer doméstico. And waste, desperdicio. Household waste, what is it? It's like garbage in the house. Mm -hmm. It could be trash in the house. Excellent. Thank you. What else? Recycling. Excellent. That's it. Pretty good. And so, for example, when we wash the dishes, all the water and the detergent. Huh? What else? Um, no. No. No? All right. Well, everything that is in the house. When we take a shower, we use shampoo, we use soap, yeah. we use um, a conditioner, hair conditioner. And all of those are substances. <coughs> so they damage the environment. And what about uh, oil? The oil that we use in the kitchen. What do you think about it? Roberto, what, what's your opinion about the oil that we use in the kitchen 
when we wash okay. yes. uh, disculpe estoy acabo de entrar estoy entendiendo todavía Ah, uh, ok, no te preocupes. Sí, tuvimos problemas con otra, con otro salón y nos enviaron a este. Ah, ok, ok, it's ok, here I am. Yeah. All right, so, any volunteer? Volunteers, kids? ¿Algún voluntario? Yo, a ver. <laughs> ok, Mari, it's ok. Ok. Uh, repeat, please. Oh, yes, of course. When we cook in the kitchen, we use oil, like eh, uno, dos, tres, eh, sabrosano, what else? Eh, maravilla, there are many brands of oil. Um, and the kitchen, and... Um, uso, como, la, este, and the, the, the oil? Um, capullo. That's it. So when we use oil and we wash the dishes, all the oil in the dishes or in in a pan, for example, sartén, uh -huh. goes to to the to the drainage, to the pipes. No. What happened? When when um. Uh, si es muy poquito, ¿cómo se dice? A little. Ah, a little. Uh, yes. Um, uh, and much. Um, en bottle. Ajá, en la bottle. And um, trash, trash, basura. Ajá. Uh -huh. A bottle in the trash. Ajá. Hey, that's a very good idea. That's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that's household waste. What about landfill? Landfill is all the garbage that is in an enormous hole in the, in the soil. We call it into Spanish relleno sanitario. So, what do you think about it? Is it dangerous or uh, it's not not a problem? Okay, don't worry. Uh, you know what? We are going to see an, some images, some pictures, okay? Here you are, see the pictures. So what's your opinion about these pictures? Uh, please do me a favor. We are going to write in the chat our opinion. Ok, vamos a escribir en el chat nuestra opinión acerca de alguna, solo una de las imágenes que vemos. Ok, let's write, please.
Okay, that's pretty good. Thank you. Leticia wrote, the pollution is so bad for our body. Excellent, Leti. Thank you very much. That was a great opinion. Thank you, Leti. It can cause some illnesses like cancer. Excellent, yes. Okay, Mary wrote, industries pollute the airs and cars alike. Uh -huh, that's it, Maria. The cut and tree damages the planet. Excellent, Maria. Very good. Roberto, I think that pollution is very harmful to the planet and is destroying little by little. Roberto, that's great. Thank you. Okay, so what about um, Luis? Ricardo, excellent. The deforestation in the world causes the earth to undergo warming, to undergo warming by ultraviolet rays and melts glaciers. Excellent. That's pretty good, Ricardo. Thank you very much. So, um, you know, I think that we do many bad things. So, now please help me writing to the... What are... What are... What are the... Actions that people do and destroy the environment. Please, please, now, could you write in the chat the answer to this question? Mary wrote, the seas are contaminated with garbage. Mary, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Roberto wrote, we may not use plastics and reduce the use of fossil fuels. Hey, Roberto, that's great. That's a very good idea. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so uh, for example, an action that we do is to use plastics. Mm -hmm. The use of plastics is dangerous for the planet. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, we use many lights at home. Yeah. Lights on. Okay, Ricardo, the people refresh and recycle. Aha, uh -huh. people should recycle. That's pretty good. Maria, the smoke of the cars, the smoke. Yes, that's it, Maria. Pretty good. There are many cars, lots of cars. And so it, they, they have carbon emissions, very dangerous. Uh, 
Aha, Nelly, excellent. Deforestation. Deforestation is very dangerous. We need trees. Uh, we need trees, we need plants. What else? You know what? Um, it attracts me, me, it attracts my attention. This man, what do you think about this man? He is, well, I don't know. Could you describe this picture? Ricardo, I'm sorry, is the people reforest and recycle? Oh yes, very good, Ricardo, reforest, that's the, that's the word. Okay, so please, now we are going to uh, describe this picture. It's Describe the central picture. Okay, let's describe it in the chat. What picture? Uh, I am referring to this picture, the picture of the man. Okay, so please, let's do, let's write the description. What do you see? Ah, sad. The man is sad. What happens to that man? Why is the man sad? Okay, let's write in the chat. Why is the man sad? What happens? I demand um, triste. Aha, uh -huh, sad. Uh, sad. Um, the day of four, or compara, or four. Aha. Garba, garbage. Uh -huh, excellent. Ah, uh, the um, the the sea, 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 sea. The sea. The sea. The sea. The sea. Yes. Hey, that's pretty good, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo. Uh, no, Nelly wrote very polluted and. The guy, for sure, is crying to see that. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. Uh, Roberto wrote, one man alone in the garbage. Yes, that's it. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you, Nelly. Mary, the person cries when seeing the garbage. Yes, that's a very good description. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Luis. Uh, who else? Who's missing? Letty, Ricardo. There is this respect for life. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. Very good, Ricardo. Yes, that's it. This respect for life. Now, look at this. Pay attention to this image. What is your opinion? There are, oh my. Repeat, please, each question, too. Oh, yes, of course. What's your opinion about this image? The image of the, well, there is a bus. Okay. There are motorcycles. What's your opinion?
the buses pollution the environment mm -hmm. that's it excellent the pollution de las voces. Uh -huh. pollution contamination pollution okay they breathe pollution excellent nelly pretty good do you consider that it is necessary that we have this kind of pollution what's your opinion about all of this smoke and people look at these persons these people in the motorcycle they are breathing uh, smoke uh, as it is contaminated with cars uh -huh. excellent roberto pretty good that's it but what is the reason why is there so much pollution what's the reason for that pollution the corruption cause causes the pollution hey ricardo that was brilliant yes corruption okay nelly wrote they breathe pollution because the bus is not working aha uh -huh. do you consider what do you think about uh, the idea that uh, ricardo expressed pollution is caused by by corruption why corruption I think that many, many situations are caused by corruption because the authorities don't do anything to, to stop this situation. But there are many situations that are caused by people. For example, I don't know, uh, but I think that this one is caused by people this one is caused also by corruption because the authorities don't stop this kind of of bosses to be uh, to be riding to be circulating into the city and what's your opinion for example this one is this caused by the government or by people or what happens with this one Okay, Nelly wrote both. Uh -huh. It is caused by the government and people. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And anybody else's opinion? Okay, Nelly uh, has written her opinion. What about uh, the others, please, participation? Um, more easy a question, question. Yes, yes, please. Um, you know what? Uh, well, the question is that 
what what is the reason why people cause this kind of destruction is it for necessity is it for money what what is the reason um uh money money uh, money uh maybe uh necessity for necessity uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um Uh, pero algunas veces sometimes sometimes um, se sale fuera de control esa necesidad uh -huh. it is out of control oh, ok mm -hmm. thank you Maria that's pretty good eh, Leticia Murillo wrote the situation could be different if we were like home For example, we don't throw garbage in all the house. Then why do we do it in the sea? That's it. You're right. At home, we even we preach children. We say, children, don't be uh, don't be nasty people. Put the garbage in the trash can. But when we go to the beach, for example, when we go to the sea, we are disrespectful with the environment and we do the opposite. So what? what's the reason? Yes, you're right. And look, we don't have respect for animal species. Look at this poor pelican. Could you describe the, the picture, please? ¿Me ayudarían a describir esta imagen en el chat? Escriban lo que ven. Write what you see, ¿ok? Okay, pretty good. Mary wrote, the pelican has oil. Uh -huh. Nelly, uh, the bird is covered in oil. Okay, so uh, Leti, the principal problem is the oil companies. Uh -huh. Roberto, I think an oil spill caused pollution. Excellent. Norma, I see the um, the bird covered in oil okay pretty good Okay, so you know what? I think that it is necessary, really necessary, that we do something. We take actions to stop all of this situation because we are destroying the world. We are destroying the planet. Please, write something about the possible solutions okay in the chat write the possible solutions
oil extracción regulación. Hey, that's a very good idea. The oil regu extraction regulation. You know Perfect. what? Uh -huh, excellent. There is another problem. Fracking. <coughs> what is fracking? Has anybody listened about fracking? Fracking eh, is the extraction the oil, the soil. Excellent. Yes, Roberto. That's it. Fracking is enormous contamination. It's pollution. That's it. Um, they break, they fracture the, the, the stone in the floor and they inject millions of liters of water and some other substances to break the, the stone, to break the soil, the floor, el suelo. And later on, they extract the oil. But the problem is that there, is, there are some uh, mantos aquíferos that are contaminated because of those substances that they inject. And so, Fracking, of course, is not done by Mexican companies. It's by English companies, American companies. And so it is something that is an enormous damage. It started in the last government. So what's your opinion, please? What are the solutions? I listen in USA is very used uh, the fracking. Yes. Yes, it's a, you know what in Mexico, fracking has been used in Veracruz, in Papantla, for example, in in Poza Rica, and so all of that area is really contaminated because of the fracking. And there is a lot of people who are sick because of the pollution in the water, mostly. Uh, I think propose politics that prohibit it fracking in Mexico? Yes, so? I think it is very necessary. La de regulation de norm de extract extract extraction extraction aha that's so important Mary thank you Maria. All right, so Norma wrote, in Chihuahua, they use only recyclable bags. Eh, that's good. Letty, I believe that the world could change if we were more aware about the problems that each picture show us, but it only depends on us. Letty, that's right. Okay, Mary wrote, regular las normas ambientales en el país. Yes, the regulation of the environmental uh, norms in the country. That's it. I think it is very necessary. Well, I thank you so much for your beautiful participation. Thank you very much. I think it was brilliant. And so I, I know that it is difficult to speak in English is difficult when we don't know a lot of vocabulary. But 
don't be afraid of that. Everything is okay. Little by little, you are going to be very fluent. So thank you very much for your participation, for your attention, for your attendance, and meet you next class. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Teacher, uh, one question. Yes, what Roberto. is your name, teacher? Uh, what is my name? Yes. Maggie Argot. Maggie Argot. 